All right, hey everybody, welcome back to Build Honor. All right, today I actually have a Jeep Gladiator. It's a, it's a 2022 or 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. And I'm putting on, it's a full factory Jeep two-inch suspension lift. Uh, even though this is the Rubicon, this is the uh, full two-inch, all new, the whole new Fox shocks, the other shocks are in there, the new track bar, new uh, upper, uh, lower control arms, sway bars, bump stops, plates. Here's all the rear springs. And let's see what these other front shocks look like. Man, what is such beauty? So, alright, you got 808 AA, 809 AA, 806, 807, patrol arms, new track bar, rears, fronts, and we got this beauty of a damn steering stabilizer. So, I'm gonna get the rest of this trash put up and we're gonna get started on it. Uh, see, Instructions, everything like that says, it should, I guess someone should take a few hours, or really shouldn't take that long. I just got done doing a, a lift kit on another one. Oh, and not on a gladiator, but on a regular, so I guess uh, stay tuned, everybody, and we'll get this video going. Alright, so about to start time lapse, and gonna start getting this thing handled. Alright y'all, here you go. off so let's come over here to the instructions and let's see what it's called for everything all right so all right, I'm gonna put on the actual time left now this time so stay back Alright, here, so, alright, uh, I don't know how, I already got all the control arms in, um, and I gotta put the brackets back on, but you can see that's a little bit tight, so, 
Oh shit. Oh, I get it back off, but I s I don't know how I ended up doing that, but I ended up screwing up. I mean I didn't screw up, but I was trying to put the rear struts or rear shocks on the front. I said, man, these things don't fit very well. And just some reason just I was just like, okay, well let me just relook at it and let me look again and just happened, I was like, wait. I was like, only the rears have the covers on them, the fronts don't. I mean, the, the fronts that were on here did, but it's a different shock. It's a smaller body, so I just happened to look at the destructions, and the destruction said, hey, um, you fucked up. But, uh, all right, I got the right ones in there now. Um, I got the collet on the right side, so it spaces it out the right way. And I'm going to get this video to keep going, so, all right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, so I got the front end done. All right. Here's back the track bar. Here's the front Mopar box shocks, as you can see. And these are the rears. I tried shoving these on the front, which, oh, that fault ran to an airline, but that was my fucking stupidity because I should have noticed this. Oh, hey, look. It looks like that. Oh well, you live and you learn. But all right, so the front's done. Time to move on to the rear. Um, just gotta double check, make sure everything's torqued on the front end. Um, and once that's good, and all the the harness is all clipped back in, we can uh get the rear end done. So appreciate. You. Stay cool. All right, y'all keep watching. Thank you. All right, everybody, so the Jeep is done. I just got to bolt all the wheels and tires on. Everything's been torque checked. Um, and if anybody wants, I can actually post the uh, the full detailed instructions, or I'll say instructions. I'll be, I'll be correct about it for once, but, um, sorry, fucking video going everywhere, but yeah, I can post it. It was uh, mints. If you know anything about a fucking Jeep, then you already know how to, I mean, do a damn, do a lift kit on one. It's common sense, it's easy, nothing major. And with this kit, it was just new strut, I mean, uh, new shot, new springs, new sway bar, new fucking adjustable track bar, new lower control arms that are just a little bit longer, um, and no uh, brake line or ABS line relocation brackets, which... I mean, I was able to bend the factory bracket just a little bit. Just, I didn't like how tight they were. Um, new rear sway bar links, new rear, uh, new rear shocks, new rear springs, uh, bump stop fucking risers. So, we'll see. I'm gonna drop it down after I get these done and we'll see how it looks.
All right, everybody. You can definitely see the difference. It's definitely a lot taller. Um, looks a lot better. Now, I don't remember what size tires is on this. 285.70, so they can definitely clear a 35 easy now with no issues. But I'm gonna do alignment on it, and from there, I'll give it back to the customer. But all right, I appreciate y'all watching today. Thank you. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I have a lot more lift kits coming in that I'm gonna be doing, um, and I still have yet to do anything else with the uh, dual fuel pump for the uh, for the Legacy. So I will hopefully get that done here shortly, and I'll get back to y'all. Until then, alright, peace out y'all.